Welcome to Tuesdays with Todd. I'm Todd Strange, Mayor of the Great City of Montgomery, and I'm joined today by Barry Crabb. Barry is our Chief Financial Officer, been with us uh, right at three years now, and he's uh, ultimately responsible for the budget preparation, and he has a great staff to do that. Barry, let's talk a bit about the budget, uh, but before we talk about the budget, we had a budget this year in our revenue and expenditures of about 230 and 228 million on expenditures, which would give us two million dollars to reserve. We're going to do a little bit better than that uh, from a revenue standpoint. Uh, we, we are. Uh, sales taxes are continuing to come in strong. They're, they're up uh, about 2% over last year and uh, other revenues are up. We expect our, our total budget, budgeted revenues to, uh, our bud actual revenues to come in about a million dollars uh, ahead of what we budgeted. And which would be about three million dollars ahead of what we actually uh, experienced in 2015. Same, same thing there with respect to budget and actual. I mean, we have been very disciplined with our expenditures and, and uh, we expect our total expenditures for the year to come in a couple hundred thousand dollars less than what we budgeted. So. And what will we do with that uh, little uh, couple of hundred thousand? <laughs> well, those, those, those funds, we've got some uh, projects that we're trying to get done. We've got a, 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 a new cell at the landfill we're, we're completing and uh, some of the uh, uh, excess funds may be used for that type of a project. Uh, otherwise, we're going to be uh, increasing our, our fund balance, increasing our reserves. And uh, as we close uh, 2016 at the end of September, what will we expect our fund balance to be or our reserves? Uh, we started out this year with a fund balance of about $20.5 million, and we expect to add up to a couple of million dollars to that number. So we'll be closing in on, on that 10%, not quite there yet, but 10% of our general fund. Yeah, same, same, same thing there with respect to budget and actual. I mean, we have been very disciplined with our expenditures, and, and uh, we expect our total expenditures for the year to come in a couple hundred thousand dollars less than what we budgeted. So. And what will we do with that uh, little uh, couple of hundred thousand? <laughs> well, those, those, those funds, we've got some uh, projects that we're trying to get done. We've got a, a, a new cell at the landfill we're, we're completing, and uh, some of the uh, uh, excess funds may be used for that type of a project. Uh, otherwise, we're going to be uh, increasing our, our fund balance, increasing our reserves. And uh, as we close uh, 2016 at the end of September, what will we expect our fund balance to be or our reserves? Uh, we started out this year with a fund balance of about $20.5 million, and we expect to add up to a couple of million dollars to that number. So we'll be closing in on, on that 10%, not quite there yet, but 10% of our general fund. Well, that's great. Uh, let's talk about 2017. Uh, your staff has done a great job in putting it together, bringing all the departments uh, of city council that's participated in the budget. Uh, talk about the budget uh, revenue side of the equation and what we're uh, anticipating for 2017. Looking at uh, about a 2.5% two, two uh, increase uh, this year, or 2017 over last year, uh, the biggest part of that is we've got some of the uh, Hyundai uh, suppliers that their, their ad valorem taxes, which were abated when they came to town, are they're now going to be yeah, getting 10 year abatements that were part of the incentive package in 2017 roll off, and that's about a million five uh, increase in the ad valorem tax. That's right. What are we looking at in the sales tax? Uh, we're looking for another uh, couple of percent increase. Uh, look, looking at something over a 2% increase in sales tax. So that takes us to about 235 million 800. That's right. Uh, I think the real number is 235,823, right? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And that, uh, as you indicated, uh, will be a 2.5% increase in the revenue side. How about the uh, expense side? Uh, similar increase there. We uh, remain uh, disciplined, and uh, we, we may get to it in a little bit, but we do have uh, the, the, the third part of a market rate adjustment on our salaries, and essentially our, our departmental expenditure increases were limited those, with the exception of a few areas of uh, public safety where we tried to get a little extra money and and, uh, and 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 even some of the public works we try to get elected. So those numbers would be 233 million 823 uh, on the expenditure side uh, which uh, again budgets a two million dollar increase to reserves. That's right. And if we get that uh, we could be approaching uh, almost 25 million maybe 24 million 24 and a half. Right. Uh, you mentioned one thing. Uh, I know that uh, our departments need a lot of capital equipment. Uh, we've got $6 million 
budgeted for lease purchase uh, in that. Tell, tell us a couple of other things that we funded maybe this time that we haven't funded uh, over the last uh, three or four years. Well, the one, one thing I mentioned earlier, you know, we, we did a, a market uh, a, a, a market survey or Adjustment. study of our, our salaries and, and found we were some behind a couple of years ago. We couldn't make that difference up. That was about year. $10 million in the aggregate, T wasn't it? $10 million dollars, uh, total impact to the city. We couldn't do that one year, obviously, but we have, over the past couple of years, done two-thirds of it. The final third of that is in, included in, in this year's numbers. Good. Um, what else uh, might we would say? You mentioned uh, if you just look on average, uh, we funded uh, an additional 30 uh, public safety, meaning fire, police uh, uh, positions uh, from a standpoint of that's about a 1.7, uh, 1.5 uh, time frame. Uh, also, uh, we, we have uh, about 380 some odd uh, structures that are in bad condition, dilapidation, uh, eyesores. Uh, this is the first time in a number of years that we've put some money there, albeit modest. Right. Uh, we've been doing that with our own forces, and we've been able to get 75 to 80 uh, structures uh, removed. This will allow us to, to get a few more done, uh, maybe as many as 50 additional. So we can get over a 100, 125, and over a two or three year period, we could eradicate all of that uh, dilapidation. The, the other thing that we've added for the, the first time, uh, we, we generally have an opportunity to match with DOT, whether it be um, uh, ATRIP money or even just other projects. And I know we've put uh, some money in the budget uh, that we can specifically allocate to DOT matches. Talk about that. Well, yeah, that's 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 something back in pre-recessionary times we were able to do, and and uh, because of the recessionary times, we haven't had an opportunity to do that in the last several years. But uh, this year, we have something under a half a million dollars uh, included in that, and that will be our sort of 20% match, where the DOT is going to going to provide 80%. We've got to find 20%. Right. If, Some of those projects that um, this would be applicable to would be. Court Street uh, repaving, uh, Zelda Road we're working on, West Ferry we're working on, um, Fairview uh, is, an, is another one that's in our uh, sites. I don't know that we'll get to, to uh, start every one of them from a construction standpoint, but all of them are being engineered now, and we need those funds uh, to represent because generally we have to pay the engineering cost up front and then the construction cost is actually borne by DOT. But again, the first time uh, in a number of years we've been able to do that. Right. So just in general, how do you feel about the budget? Well, I feel it's a good budget. I feel like it's a disciplined budget. We're, we're uh, remaining disciplined with our expenditures and the fact that we are including a $2 million addition to the reserves. I know the, the uh, rating analysts would like to see that uh, and, and just like to see us continue to stay the course. Good. Uh, Barry has done a great job uh, over the last uh, three years of bringing discipline uh, to this. We had great success previously, but the recession really got in the way of doing a lot of the things that we've been wanting to do. We will present tonight at 5 o'clock this budget to the City Council. They will have public hearings, and then sometime in the September time frame, probably the second meeting uh, in September, they will vote. Uh, and hopefully uh, they will adopt this uh, modest increase of 2.5%, which really does uh, do a lot of things that we've not been able to do in the past, uh, the, the biggest of which would be to get our employees uh, another uh, last segment of that $10 million increase that uh, we've been trying to get done. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, we'll see how the budget process works.